friends and hello fellow vintage lovers. I miss you guys so, so much. I am still battling the flu, um, but I wanted to go ahead and get a video out for you guys because it's been so long. Yesterday, <clears throat> I had a doctor's appointment and on the way home, we had a torrential downpour. Um, it like flash flooding. I know it's moving east to all my friends in the east, on the east coast. I hope that you guys um, don't get hit the way we did. But anyway, it was really storming. So I pulled off the highway and I realized that there was a thrift store there that I had been to before. So I decided to go in and kind of wait out the storm. It was like so, the rain was coming down so hard you know, limited visibility. I was afraid of hydroplaning, you know, so I pulled over and I did record some footage that is coming up. I apologize for the footage. I wasn't able to get a lot because I ended up finding some bigger things and I was trying to, um, you know, keep them in the cart, keep them from anybody trying to grab them because I knew some of them were, were very valuable. Um, so, it's a short little shop with me. Um, I'm going to try to maybe put some text in there and explain why I was looking at certain things or why I put things back. Um, their prices at the store are all over the place. Uh, some of their items have the uh, an eBay listing printed out. Not a sold, mind you. Um, just a listing. Um, and they'll stick that on the item. They did that with um, a really cool brass music stand that I probably would have kept for myself, but it was just, it was too much. Um, so, uh, I hope you enjoy the shop along. This should come out on Tuesday, the 9th. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, I probably am going to take one more day before I have a live sale. So, look for me on Wednesday the 10th, probably at 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. And I'm going to also try to have a live sale on Thursday. Now, I do want to touch base with you guys on invoicing. I kind of had a relapse sun Sunday night, and I had a fever again. So I have not mailed um, packages for people who have paid their invoice. I'm also still behind on some of my invoices. I'd say about half were, were sent out. Um, I do want to wait just out of an extreme abundance of caution before mailing um, your packages just to be safe. Um, my doctor did tell me yesterday this is influenza B and um, the receptionist at her office said she's had it since, get this guys, November. So um, it has been brutal. Everyone, please take your supplements, rest, eat well. Um, you do not want this. This flu that I have um, is worse than when I had COVID. You know, I had it twice. And um, it has been nine days now. Um, so far today, I don't have a fever, but I'm just feeling extremely run down. And my nose is constantly running. Um, so anyway, much love to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and Put the shop along next and then we will be back for the haul portion okay guys so uh, when I walked in the door I saw these precious moments and then these birthday girls I think they were Joseph's originals I, I'm not quite sure I didn't flip them over because they were priced too high for me to resell um, that was a cabbage patch but you could only pay cash for her she was 30 so I left her behind. This is kind of their collectibles area, and they were running low on items. Um, I think there were Norman Rockwell plates. There was a, a King and I, um, you know, which were cute, but they were just priced so high. So this clock was adorable, but it had an eBay listing on it, and I, I think they went to like 30 or 40 for it. Um, this is kind of the knickknack and figurine section. So I saw this unicorn, and I was like, oh my god. Unicorn. I was thinking about getting it, and sure enough, there's a chip on the ear. So it did not go home with me. Um, there was nobody in this aisle with me, so I spent most of this video, uh, the shopping part, um, in this one aisle. I was moving all these figurines uh, just to see what was back there. This Noah's Ark 
lamp was really cute. Um, it did have damage. I don't remember where. So this was kind of intriguing. It reminded me of a Heather Goldmine Blue Sky piece, um, but it wasn't. And it, I don't know, it just wasn't good enough quality for me to want to pick it up. It was cute, but I think it was six or seven dollars maybe. So I would like to look at crosses. I thought this one was really pretty. At first I thought it was pewter, and then I realized it didn't have the feel of pewter, so I did put it back. Um, I was kind of trying to be picky. I still have so much inventory I need to go through. So that, that was just a cute little trinket dish. Um, that heart, I was like, oh, that's cool. It was an award that someone was given. There's a cow bell that was cute. I, I don't have much success selling bells, so I left it behind. As you can see, that was 18. Um, that praying boy. Um, I picked up this glass. I wasn't quite sure what it was, and it, it was also cheaply made. Um, these are always pretty. I noticed some damage on them, and I still have a couple um, that I need to sell, so I left that behind. That little vase. Just kind of going over everything. I thought that trinket box was really pretty. Um, I do believe it made in Japan, but um, I, I left it behind this time. Yeah, Japan. These cherubs behind it are really cute. I would have picked them up, but I mean, look at how cute they are. Wait, wait for it. Oh, the wings are gone. What a shock. <laughs> cute tush, though. And behind them, I noticed this Lennox uh, Mickey Mouse, and it was still in the original box. I was like, okay, that's probably, you know, worth picking up. Um, I didn't even look it up, because I noticed it was a graduation figurine, and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to kind of stay away from items like that for a specific buyer, um, especially right now, when I have so much inventory, I need to go through and list and, and uh, show on YouTube. This was pretty. I think it might have matched the other trinket dish. Um, it did have some damage on it, so I put it back. The lace is really pretty on it. And there are just more figurines. Um, so in this store, they're really organized. Look how perfectly lined up everything is. I'm trying to put everything back where it was. More bells. One of the most common things you see at thrift stores, bells are definitely one. So this was Italian, and I loved it. Soap dish, but there was a chip on the, what, do I show it? Yeah, there was a chip on it. I almost got it anyway because I thought it was so pretty and it wasn't too noticeable, but I, I left it behind. I probably wouldn't charge more than what I paid for it, so I left it behind. And again, their prices, you know, sometimes they're really good or sometimes they're overpriced. Uh, it's just a mix. And I guess it depends on whoever's doing the pricing that day. I'm not sure. <laughs> that monkey is cute. Um, it's like a tiki glass. Uh, I forgot what it said. Made in China. I've seen it there before, actually. That monkey's been there for quite a while. And I, I'm a little bit rusty, y'all, so I do apologize. It's I'm not showing things very well. This plate was really pretty. Um, it had a modern a Made in China sticker on it, so I left it. I'm wondering why I didn't look at that on the show. That bird had a chip on his beak. He was pretty colored. Um, there's a souvenir boot from New Mexico. Those are cute. But again, you got to kind of have a specific buyer. Clown alert. Oh, I forgot to say that. Clown alert. That might be the only clown I saw this trip. So I was in here for about an hour just trying to get out of the rain. I thought she was cute. I think she's someone's project. Um, looking back, I'm like, maybe I should have picked her up. It's just fun. They had put away all their Christmas, which, of course, I would have expected. Oh, there's another clown. I'm sorry for all of you people who are afraid of clowns. It's a little craft mushroom house. It's cute. Oh, so this clock. I thought this clock was amazing. Very Victorian or Italian look to it. Um, it was originally from Marshalls, and I ended up putting it in my cart. Um, there's like six 
or seven. Uh, I put it back because I noticed there is an arm missing on one of the cherubs. So thank goodness I uh, didn't. Oh yeah, there I am going back. I'm like, okay, it's cool. Somebody's gonna like that. It's you know, teeth. Look at me, nicely made. But thank goodness I went over everything in my cart and realized that that arm was missing. Uh, there's another chair up the tip of the wing is missing. I probably would have picked that up. Um, that was a copper bowl, but it had a lot of oxidation. Yeah, so I put it back. Um, I don't know what those were. If anybody knows, let me know. And they had all these um, African animals that I thought were pretty cool. They were all resin, but, um, you know, they were nice big pieces. But every one of them had damage. It, it was sad. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was somebody's collection of all their safari animals. That cheetah is really cool, but there was, I can't remember what was broken. I pointed to it like an ear or something. I think maybe the zebras were not broken. Um, I think the price was too high. I think it was like $15 or something. But um, yeah, cool. So this is when I found the Hager. I was so excited, guys. Um, the rest of the video is not good quality, so I apologize. I kind of got excited um, because, like I said, I do collect Hager. So they, I got the set of two for $12.99. So this vase was really interesting, obviously modern. Um, I thought, well, that might be kind of fun, though, but not for $17. I put it back. Um, I'm not holding the camera up well at this point. I do apologize. I'm trying to reach the top shelf. I'm pretty short, um, for those of you that may know. <laughs> but this iridescent um, vase or bottle was pretty. Um, it was priced pretty high, if I remember correctly. And it, um, it was new. I, maybe I should have gotten it. I don't know. What do y'all think? Okay, well, here comes the haul. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little shop along. Um, I do believe you saw me find these Hagers. Um, I just looked up. I was in the base and glass section, and I was like, those look like they could be Hager. You know, like 90s Hager. They were. Um, I'm going to just start with them. You know, I, I do collect Hager. I am going to sell one of these. However, I don't need to. Um, here is the bottom. It has its original Hager barcode. Um, it was $26.99 back in the day. I have not dated these yet, um, but they're obviously an older Hager line. And these were Hager floral. Um, just amazing. I like this geometric design. I kind of like the muted uh, beige and gold coloring on them as well. Um, these are great size. There's no damage. I haven't cleaned the insides. I don't know if I need to. There's some floral foam there on the bottom. But um, how cool were those? So, one will be for sale and one will go in my collection. Um, I can't wait to show you guys um, some of the work that I've done on the house over the holidays. I've gotten some, some of my items finally displayed the way I want them to be displayed. And I'll probably do... Um, maybe a couple shorts and, you know, a longer form video as well. But, um, anyway, this will go with the rest of my Hager. Love it. Okay. Again, no research has been done. I felt too bad when I got home yesterday. Just so you know, in the thrift store, I kept my distance and I was wearing a mask. And I wiped down my cart after I was done. So, um, anyway, this is a metal flamingo. Um, I just thought it was cute, maybe because it was so cold and rainy, I was thinking about summer. Um, he's actually, you know, well-made. He's not like one of those, you know, like Dollar Tree or something, um, metal uh, flamingos. I think he's really cute, and I like that he is uh, articulated. He, he bounces back and forth there. Okay, so I forgot to start this off with. This is the most eclectic haul, maybe one of the most profitable hauls I've ever had. Um, the Batosi may, may win that? No, probably not. I'll, I'll show you why. Because I got something I never thought I would get. Okay, this is a dragon, as you can see. Um, I comped this when I was in the thrift store. First of all, it, it just caught my eye. I was in the toy section. I was wasting 
time waiting for the rain to let up because I really just wanted to come home and rest. But um, he lights up and he makes noises. And I have not messed with him yet um, to see if he needs new batteries or what. There is a crack there on that plastic. So what I'm hoping, first of all, he was only like two ninety nine. dollars So, I mean, just as a display piece, I think he's pretty fucking cute. Oh my gosh, I dropped an F-bomb. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm not thinking straight. Freaking cute. There we go. Um, his eyes light up. And he's just really, really cool. He is supposed to be like a Halloween um, decor piece. And uh, the comps for him were pretty good, like around 30 or so. So I just went ahead and got him because I thought, you know what? If we can fix him, that's awesome. If not, I mean, I love dragons. I have a friend that collects dragons. So, yeah, no brainer. Okay, then I picked this up. Um, this is a mid-century stone apple. And I'm not sure what stone it is, y'all. Um, I haven't tested anything on this table either, just so you know. But um, I just thought it was really cool. I've been really into these kind of items lately. Um, of course, it reminded me of Renee. Shout out to Beautiful. Um, really, really nice. It's got a great weight. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what kind of stone it is. I don't think it's just marble, but... Not 100% sure. It looks like there's some sticker residue there that I need to get rid of as well. Um, okay, so this jewelry. At my last sale, um, I showed some pieces that I had gotten previously, and I wanted to include them in this haul because I've never shown them before, at least not that I, that I can remember. These are all really, really high-quality um, pieces that I got from an estate sale for an artist. She was just downsizing. And one of her passions was making jewelry. Um, I believe she made all of these. Um, they're just amazing. So they're all stone um, with, with sterling as well. There's a great patina on these. I'm not going to go over each one in detail. I'm just going to kind of show you guys. So these are going to come up for a live sale. They all need to be tested. I need to make sure that I know what they are. But um, this piece, guys, this, this is probably my favorite. Um, this is a very long um, necklace. It has um, these ties at the end. This is coral. I know for sure that's coral. And I'm not sure if this is onyx or obsidian. I, I'm going to guess onyx. Um, I was told it might be jet, but I I don't know about that. Um, but I'm going to find out. It's really long. It's beautiful. It reminds me of an antique necklace for sure. Um, so I'm going to have to work on it and make sure... You know, I know the correct age and everything else. I don't believe it is antique, but I I don't know. Um, I just absolutely love it. And I'm so glad I have my Presidium to help me with some of these. Because, yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this one, I do believe, is amber and onyx. Um, here is the clasp. This is just gorgeous, these beads. There are some silver beads in there as well. Um, this one, guys. Oh, my gosh. This necklace is amazing. So, you have some turquoise on here, um, as well as some stones. And you have some really pretty glass beads as well. Oh, I thought they were glass. I think they are. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at some of these with the loot. Um, oh, gosh. This Asian necklace is just gorgeous. What did she write on it? $45. Um, it's beautiful. Some of her pieces do have prices on them, but not all of them do. Um, this necklace is fabulous as well. Um, I do believe this is all sterling. And I do think these are coral. Again, I'm going to have to research or look at these with a loop and then pull out my presidium just to make sure. And this one she hadn't finished yet, um, but it is turquoise. And all it needs to have done is a clasp to be added to it. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that myself or I'm going to sell it as is because these stones are definitely, um, you know, worth it. And I'm going to test these silver beads. There's so many of them just to see if they are sterling or not. 
but I, I realized I don't think I've shown these ever. Um, the woman who made these uh, was just amazing. She had so many beautiful pieces, and she had like two or three rooms of just jewelry, like jewelry making, and these were the pieces that I that I picked out um, from that estate sale. Gosh, it was probably a year and a half ago now. It was a really long time ago. Okay, guys, so speaking of items that I need to research, this is one of them. Um, so I picked this up at the thrift store in the where, when it was raining, and um, it's this amazing hinged box. So it's, it's lacquer, and it has um, animal designs on it. And there's a deer here. Um, I can't remember. There's a bunny. Um, here's this design here. Now that to me looks very Italian. Um, here is the inside. It opens like this. I can get it to open. Just a really, really cool piece. Um, I think it's probably modern, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, I'm going to find out though, but I, I might be keeping this one guys. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I just love it. I mean, there's so many things you could put in here. So many things you could do. Um, it was funny because when I was in the store, um, I did a, like a lens search just to see, cause I did pay up for this. I just thought it was so cool. Um, and what popped up was a tea box, like a Japanese tea box, but I, I don't know. I, again, I could be totally wrong here, um, but it, it doesn't look Asian to me. I don't know. If any of you have a thought on this, um, or if you know what it is, let me know. It is really, really cool, and I love it. Okay, so on to one more before I show you the most profitable item I got. I got this gorgeous tray. Sorry, guys, I have a... Well, I can show you guys that too. Um, <laughs> this tray I picked up a while back um, and I haven't offered it for sale yet. This is an Italian tray. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got these um, fruit in a basket. Um, I love the corners of this, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Y'all know that I love a good tray, so... I had to pick this one up. They did have two, but the other one was not in good condition. Um, this one is in really good shape, you know, especially with how old it is. <laughs> I might as well show you this. I got this one a while back. This is just like a, a shelf. I probably got it in like Pier 1 or something, and I haven't hung it yet. I'm probably going to keep it, but here it is in case I offer it for a sale. It's really cool. It's got these two rams. Um... Yeah, really, really fun. Okay, guys, this is the item that, well, I never thought I'd pick one up for one thing, um, just because of my beliefs about animals, but um, it was at the thrift store, y'all, and it was $24.99, and I knew, just from being a reseller for a while, that these can go for quite a bit more. So... I had no reception. I was trying to get Rick's opinion because I wasn't sure. I mean, I've never dealt with taxidermy before. I've seen it. I think some things are really, really cool. Um, like I would love to have taxidermy spiders, snakes. I don't know. But I've, I've never had anything like this. So, and trigger warning, if any of this triggers you, it may only trigger me. I don't know. But uh, this is indeed a taxidermy boar. It is real. Um, I had Rick look at the teeth because I know sometimes they can put in um, artificial teeth. But he said the teeth were real. Um, there is a chip on these teeth right here. And I don't know if that chip was there when he was um, killed or if, you know, sometime it got chipped. Um, in the course of this person owning it. It is signed on the bottom. I'm not going to um, flip it over right now just because I don't have a, a free enough hand. Well, do I? Nah. Um, but it is signed on the back. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this, if any of you resellers are watching and you have any good suggestions, let me know. But I'm thinking about just putting on Marketplace. Um, they can go anywhere from like three to 500 
um, based on the little bit of research that I did. And the ones that I saw weren't as nice as he is or she. Um, so, you know, I do live in a rural community now, and I think people may be really interested in this. Um, you know, a lot of people do hunt boar um, in Texas as well. So um, I just thought it was preserved really well. Um, it looks really good. And again, I am sorry for the trigger warning. It was just kind of a no-brainer, like, you know, an easy flip. Um, you know, one of my better ones ever. So this is my really eclectic and strange haul. I do have two more things I want to show you guys that I picked up over the holidays and I haven't shown yet just because I think they're kind of cool. So being in Texas, you know, I run across things like this a lot, but I picked up and I can't remember how many I got of each, but I got these um, metal garlands um, and, and they're quite long. The horse is really long, but they are these steer, which hook them horns. It kind of reminds me of a Bevo, but um, that's where I went to college. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I picked some of these up. I just thought they're cool. I mean, they'd be really neat to put like on your patio or if you do like farmhouse decor, how cute would these be? So they're kind of like a uh, copper painted um, and they, they latch. I don't know where the other end is. Here you go. I just thought they were kind of cool. And I got a good deal on them so I can offer them for a good deal. Um, they've never been used. When I got them, they were in the original box. I don't know if I'll be able to ship them in their original box because um, they might have to go in a bag or something like that because I don't know how I'm going to fit them all back in the small box. But I can try. Um, but here are the horses. I thought these were cool as well. Um, you know, if you have horses or if you love horses, just how cool are these? I just thought they were really neat. And it's, you know, maybe something I wouldn't normally pick up, but I thought they were cute. Let me know if you think they're cute. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope everyone is, is not sick. I hope everyone's healthy. I hope everyone's having a good 2024 so far. Um, I do hope to get more content out um, this week. We'll see how I feel. And um, I'm planning on going on Wednesday evening, again, the 10th at 8.30 Eastern. So, um, hopefully I'll see you then. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Take care and stay healthy. Bye.